Okay, so you say that you ordered something and you planned it to be delivered two days before the Sabbath, right? No, I planned it to be delivered after the Sabbath. Oh, after the Sabbath, but then you got an email. I've got an email today saying it's going to arrive on the Sabbath. Okay, so your question now is what do you do? Do you Because you can't cancel it because yeah. it's already been dispatched already. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I can't take it. I can't answer the door and take it in, can I? So that's why I asked. It depends. Are you going to, do you have to sign for it when the delivery driver or delivery person come? Would you have to sign for, for the package before you take it? You know, that question I don't know because lately, uh, I mean, sometimes you have to sign for things, but lately uh, you haven't had to sign for anything. Yeah, so if you don't have to sign for it, no, let. I, if you don't have to sign for sorry? it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If I don't have to sign for it, what? Okay, so if you don't have to sign for it, then let them. We'll let, when they deliver it, you can open your door and pick it up. Like, it, is it heavy? Is, it, is that heavy? Is it a heavy. something heavy? No, it's not, no. Like a small packet. The reason why I'm asking is because we cannot carry a burden. We cannot carry like heavy things on the Sabbath. That's why I'm asking. Is it something heavy or like no, an envelope? It's not, it's, no, it's not heavy, no. Is it like an envelope or a box? A bit like a box, like a small box, small parcel. Okay. So in that case, you can... Um, it, it, yeah. So if they... Since they are already going to deliver it... Um, and you try to move it, it, I do the same thing myself. When I order something, I try to have it be delivered uh, before the Sabbath or after the Sabbath. I keep that in mind when I, when I buy things. When I buy things, I keep it in mind. So what happened to me last week, I ordered something online and I paid for faster shipping. I paid extra money because I wanted to receive it before the Sabbath. So what I, but then I got an email from the company saying that the package has been delayed due to transit, whatever transit issue, the package has been delayed, that it will be delivered on the 5th or on the 6th of January, on the 5th or on the 6th. So the 5th is the Sabbath. Last 5th was the Sabbath. So that's what they said. So, um, then I didn't go to pick up the package. I didn't go on the Sabbath. Then after the Sabbath, the day after the Sabbath, I now went and picked up the package. So um, so I try to make a fort when I buy things online. I try to make a fort not to receive it the on the Sabbath. I, I think of that when I'm planning travel, when I'm planning travel, when I'm planning business, when I'm planning things. I try to look at the calendar just to make sure that it doesn't fall into the Sabbath. So, but sometimes things will change or whatever. So in this case, in this case, um, you know, if they deliver it, you can wait. And I mean, as long as it's not a big package, if it's something big, you have to carry the box. I would suggest to leave it outside. If, if it's delivered and it's, if it's outside, I don't know how your, how your, apartment or your where you live i don't know where it is do they still packaging where the place you live um, the... no, no i mean if, if if anything they would have to leave it outside the door and the uh, the door is uh practically sort of on the corner of the main street okay so yeah. someone could actually pick it up and take it yeah, if it's a small, if it's a small envelope or a small package, something you can pick up, um, then you can, you know, of course, take it after that. The reason why I'm saying this, because me myself, I'm trying to be careful, because the scripture is very clear in the book of Jubilee chapter fifty. Jubilee chapter fifty, it says that you shall not uh, carry a burden outside of your house or into your house. He you cannot take a burden out or bring it in on the Sabbath. That's Jubilee chapter 50. Yes. So like carrying your your chair or your bed or fridge, you know, you can carry in or out. 
on a step, but you can't lift their burden. They're carrying a burden into now, be bothering you, you know. So um, that's that's Jubilee chapter 50. That's why I'm asking. So, like, when they delivered my own package, what I did is I kept quiet. I waited after the Sabbath. I went and picked it up. But it was the, the, it was the, it was delivered in a secure. It was delivered in a place that I had a code. I had a code. I had a secure place where they put it, and I went and opened it and took took my package. So if it's like envelope, uh, if it's like envelope, uh, that might be okay. Um, but um, so yeah, that's the the situation. If it's something bigger, then I would say just leave it there. After the Sabbath, you can you can pick it up. Yeah. So if it's, a, if, it's, if it's a large, if it's, if it's, a, if it's a large bird, if it's a large parcel or a heavy parcel, just let them leave it outside the door and pick it up tomorrow. The yes. Day after. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Well, if, it, if it's a small parcel, yeah, I can take it in. Yeah. Um, if it's like an envelope or you know, uh, I'm just I'm trying to be careful. You know, I don't want to ask you to do yeah, something. It won't be an envelope. It will definitely be a parcel. It won't be an envelope. It'll be a parcel. Okay. Okay. Um, so you live like in a. You live. Do you, is it a house or an apartment? Like a, a no, flat? It's a flat, an apartment. A flat? On the ground floor. Okay, there are other people on that. The ground floor. Okay. So. Because our people walk past them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to get into the, because I, I live uh, on the outside of a block of flats. Do you know what I mean? So for people to go to the block of flats, they have to pass my flat first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they have to pass my flat first. Do you know what I mean? So if there's something outside my door, they can easily take it. Yeah, okay, so uh, you know what? This is easy, simple. Uh, <laughs> so I know this is going to sound crazy, but if it's a package, something that is being delivered to you in a package, I know 100% that they're going to wrap it very well. They're going to put it in a very protective, uh, something protective and wrap it very well. They're going to wrap it in a way that it will not be destroyed by water, it will not be destroyed by a, because they drew they threw this package around you know they threw it around so uh, they make sure that it's, it's protected so that whatever it's inside will not break um so in that case if they deliver it outside just uh you know you could use your feet or something and just kick it inside your house you know just kick it kick it inside the house and close your door now it's in a safe place i mean it depends on the size if it's like an envelope yeah that's not envelope you can p take you can take an env envelope it's not a burden but if it's something big i'm telling you i'm just being honest i'm telling you what i would do just to make sure that you know yeah. my conscience is not finding me guilty i'm not feeling bad i would just i would just uh if they if they deliver it i would just use like a stick or or use my feet and just open my door and kick it inside and lock my door you know it's going to be delivered in your door anyway you know it's already there at the door so you open the door, you bring it inside the house, you kick it inside the house, and then that's it, you know? So, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So in that so way, it's... You don't have to leave it outside there and somebody might steal it or whatever. Uh, but, you know, um, with this, what the scripture did say in Jubilees 50 is definitely carrying a burden. You know, carrying um, like a couch, your chair... Yeah, fridge, you know, you, you bought fridge and you want to carry it from the outside to the inside, you know, those kind of things you be just leave it alone until the next day. Next day you do it. So in this case, you know, it's a package. I would just kick it inside the house. Yeah. You know. Okay. Okay. So a burden, that would mean something heavy. Yes. It's something heavy. Definitely. Yeah. Which, you know, once in a while. Yeah. Small parcel, I know that. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, Brother Toby, thank you very much for your advice. All praises to our Heavenly Father, all praises. Thank you for calling. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through WhatsApp. 
you can call us or send us a message. You can also email us at lawstogod at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.lawstogodskingdom.com. Download our mobile app from the Android store. Search for Laws to God app. You can also find us on Facebook. Just search for Laws to God. Don't forget, you can also use Skype to call us. Just download Skype on your phone and search for Laws to God. If you are in South Africa and you need a congregation to worship with, give us a call. For more information that we don't have here on YouTube, please download our app and check out our website www dot lost to God's kingdom dot com help us spread this truth by sharing this video on your social media